Hey guys, it's Will from LearnRater, and in this video I'm going to walk you through the 2011 AP Microeconomics free response question number two. This question is related to market wages and the influence of uh, being a price taker on a firm's actions. So let's go ahead and get started. So in this question, we are asked to assume that the market for avocados is perfectly competitive and that the typical firm is earning positive economic profit in the short-run equilibrium. So first, we need to draw a correctly labeled graph for this firm, including a short-run equilibrium, price, and quantity. So I'm going to start out by just drawing the typical axes. We have price on the vertical, quantity on the horizontal. And what we know in this case of perfect competition is that the firm is a price taker. And what that means is that the firm cannot just set a price. He actually has to observe how the rest of the market is behaving. And he'll just accept whatever the market shows him um, is out there. So therefore, in this case, it's just going to be a horizontal demand curve, which is going to also be the same as the marginal revenue curve, since the firm is a price taker. He just looks at what the market is doing and then accepts that as given. Now let's think about what the uh, average total cost would look like. So in this case, we know that the average total cost is going to at some point be below the demand curve because he's generating positive economic profit. Therefore, there's a point in which there's economies of scales to some extent in which average total cost be goes below. And then there'll also be a point in which it no longer is as beneficial and it'll come back up. So that's average total cost. Now let's think about what the marginal cost would look like. So in this case, let's change our color to green. So what we know is that when marginal cost is below average total cost, then what's going to be happening is marginal average total cost will be going down. However, when marginal cost is greater than average total cost, then average total cost will be going up. And that's just because that's how averages work. So let's go ahead and draw that. So this is going to be our marginal cost curve 1. And so in this case, we need to find where price equals marginal cost because we are in a perfect competition situation. Therefore, where price equals marginal cost is going to happen at this point. And that is going to be our efficient QE. And the corresponding location on the vertical is going to be the, cor the PE. So let's think about now what happens when there's an increase in the market wage for labor, uh, a variable input. So in this case, what's essentially happening is the marginal cost for every additional unit that's produced is going up because the cost of labor has now gone up. So when wages go up, it leads to an increase in marginal cost as well. And therefore, we need to show an upward shift of the marginal cost curve. So let's go ahead and do that. So in this case, we have marginal cost 2. And we see that marginal cost equals uh, price at a lower point. And that would be our new output. And so that clearly shows that there has been a change in relation to this wage increase. So now let's look at part C. Assume that avocado producers hire workers from a perfectly competitive labor market. Draw a graph of labor supply and demand for the typical firm and label the supply curve MFC and demand curve MRP. Assume that the market wage increases from W1 to W2 and show the effect of the wage increase on the graph labeling the initial quantity of labor hired as QL1 and the new quantity of labor hired as QL2. So first let's go ahead and draw the horizontal and vertical axis here. We know that wage is going to be on your vertical and quantity is going to be on your horizontal. And you also know that you're going to be faced with a downward sloping marginal revenue product curve. And what we also know is that we are faced with perfect competition. And therefore, in the case of perfect competition, we know that the MFC is just going to be a horizontal line. And so this is going to be equal to the wage 1. And then 
What we also know is that the market wage is now increased, so we need to go up. And so we have a new wage 2, which is represented by the marginal factor cost 2. And so if we look at the equilibrium points of these, we need to look at where the marginal revenue product is equal to the marginal factor cost. And we see that that happens here. And then it happens here. So what that shows us is a clear leftward shift. As a result of the wage increase, the quantity of labor that is hired goes down, and that intuitively makes sense. So that pretty much covers it for question number two. If you need extra help, feel free to check out our site for hundreds of practice questions. That's it for now. I'll see you guys next time.